Hi, this is Chris from Essential SQL, and today we're going to talk about the having clause, which is used to filter the results from a group by. I'm going to start out with one of the group by statements that we've looked at in the past. Here we're selecting a count of uh, order details from by order ID. So really we're just seeing how many order lines per order there are. And as you can see that there are um, 20 or so orders that came back and the counts vary from uh, one all the way up to looks like four or five. So with the having, we could actually restrict this and for instance say, I only want to see orders that are where the um, line is greater than two, the count. So if I do a statement like this, you can see the statement's the same except now we have this having count order detail ID greater than two. What this is going to do is eliminate lines such as this one, uh, order ID 9, order ID 10, because they're not greater than 2. When I run it, you'll see that I have much more narrow result comes back. So this is different than the WHERE clause, which restricts rows before they get grouped. This actually works on the result after values have been grouped. All right, so you think of it as um, I'm doing the select, the from, I'm getting a where clause, I'm, all, I'm grouping that all up, and I'm getting a result, and then at that point, the having then kind of works on each of those results. The one last example I want to show you is that the having can also work on slightly more complicated examples, um, such as uh, using calculations. So in the past, we've done a calculation where we're summing up the unit price and quantity for each order detail line and calling it total price. And you can see here I'm now only going to output orders where the total price is greater than a thousand and I'm going to then sort those in descending order value. So the highest orders are now at the top and here you can see that I only have orders that are greater than a thousand. If you have any questions about the having clause or other aspects of SQL, please tweet me at SQLChris or you can leave a comment at my blog, which is EssentialSQL.com. Thank you.